Hey, welcome back. We've been showing you what it's been like uh, at Ship Creek, but I want to show you the time lapse of what it was like because it's pretty spectacular. Starting, first of all, 2.30 this morning, and it's not even dark out. Not seeing any anglers down there quite that early, but uh, it did not take long for them to show up, beginning to fill into the creek as that sun was rising on the high tide. Uh, you can see the creek was full, likely with salmon and with people. Even at low tide, you can still see a lot of people down there, and then it fills back up. 8 o'clock was our most recent high tide, and now we're starting to see conditions going back out, but really nice down there. Uh, even this evening, you can see how many folks are still trying to catch that king salmon tonight. High temperature so far, 61 degrees, just three below what's normal for this time of year. The closest to normal that we have been uh, here in a couple of weeks. A record high, we haven't seen anything close to that, 80. That was the case back in 2013. But high temperatures did reach the mid-60s in the Valley, 67 for those of you in Palmer, 66 in Talkeetna, Glen Allen. Back into the low 70s today, also seeing those low to mid 60s across the Kenai Peninsula. Beautiful day in Seward. And we are seeing warm conditions still even at this hour in southeast or in the interior, excuse me. But at a high temperature there, 77 degrees in Fairbanks today, 76 in Fort Yukon, up to nearly 50 in Ukiavik. Did get to 50 in Kotzebue, cool with some rain through Nome, but uh, back into the 60s and Bethel 70s for those of you near King Salmon today. Now, while we're seeing relatively quiet conditions, just some clouds and light rain here in western Alaska and then seeing those thunderstorms firing up uh, there across the interior and as I mentioned earlier up to penny size hail north of Fairbanks a lot of lightning with these storms but they did include some rain as well so that's good to have at least the combination and at this hour most of that lightning has tapered off just seeing some rain showers just south of Delta Junction but uh, the more extreme storms those were to the north again of Fairbanks earlier this afternoon. Now that cool air, uh, which we didn't uh, didn't seem like we were able to get rid of for so long, is now retreating uh, up to the north, and we have warm air pushing in from the south. And it's not just warmer air moving in; you get a little ridge with this, and so that blocks any other storm systems from coming in at least for a couple days, keeping us uh, drier and warmer, sunnier as well. Once we get into the middle portion of the week, though, that ridge is going to slide a little bit further to the east, which uh, means we'll see that jet stream returning to south central, and we will see a quick moving storm. Uh, that will impact us midweek, bring back some rain. But until then, continuing to see storm-free conditions here in South Central and in Southeast. Quieter conditions tomorrow across the interior as well. Just seeing some light rain as you head out into Western Alaska, but still seeing quite a bit of sunshine down near Bristol Bay until that next storm system pushes in Monday into Tuesday is when we'll see that coming back in. High temperatures back up to 70 in Fairbanks, 40s on the slope. We'll see 40s again in Nome, but mid 60s down south uh, near Bethel and Dillingham, 68 and sunny in Kodiak and down into southeast. High temperatures tomorrow back into those upper 60s and low 70s. In fact, Haynes back up to 74 tomorrow, 72 in Soldotna. You'll be at 65 in Ketchikan. Uh, and you're going to hold on to that heat and sunshine here for a few days. Across the Kenai Peninsula, we're talking 70s tomorrow in Soldotna, 72 for the high temperature in Seward, 73 in Whittier. We'll see nearly 70 in Valdez and mid 70s in the Cop River Basin. In the valley, we're also looking at mid-70s and mostly sunny skies for you tomorrow. Anchorage, we only dropped to about 50 tonight. And then we'll see high temperatures back into the low 70s, something I haven't been able to say so far in 2023. So close to 70 degrees again on Monday. Again, increasing clouds Tuesday. Eventually, we'll see chances for some showers, uh, unfortunately, on the solstice. But we'll still get the daylight. We'll still get 60s. And we will see rain likely on Thursday. But... We just have to enjoy these two days, Joe. Pretty nice.